my god, you guys, like literally, like literally, this has nothing to do with what I was about to record, but I went to put in my SD card into my camera, and it, it's fucking broken, like it, it's, it's dead, like it will not fit in my camera anymore because the plastic's breaking off. Good thing I bought a fucking phone mount for my tripod because like, Everything just decides to break at the most inconvenient time. Yeah, did I mention that I'm pretty fucking heated over this? Yeah, I'm still heated. Did I mention that I'm heated? I'm really angry. I'm mad. I'm mad. Okay, you can enjoy my video now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about what it's like to live in Dallas. And I've put this video off for far too long, honestly. I'm actually moving to Orlando, Florida at the end of August. So I'm literally pushing this video off into like almost when I'm not even going to be living here anymore. So anyway, before I get this video started, I just want to let you guys know that I'm making this video from the perspective of me. Um, and my perspective is moving from a small town to Dallas. So everything this video is going to be from that perspective. So my opinions might not be the same as yours. If you've, you know, moved from like LA or New York to Dallas, you could have a totally different experience than me and that's okay. I just wanted to do a disclaimer before I got into this because I felt like, you know, it needed to be said. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's begin. So one of the main things that I noticed when I first moved here, um, again, a perspective coming from someone who moved from a smaller area, is the traffic is pretty freaking crazy. <laughs> um, everyone seems to just drive a lot more aggressively here. Everyone is just, you know, they're going 80, 90 miles per hour when the speed limit is 70. Um, the police don't really seem to care and everyone just drives very aggressively. There is a lot of traffic. I used to live in Jackson, Mississippi and it would literally give me anxiety to drive there. Um, that's a city with like 100,000 people. So imagine that times a billion when you get on Dallas roads. Like there is always a bunch of cars on the road. Um, the, express, the expressway is always backed up. Like it's crazy driving here. Um, so that's definitely one of the first things that I noticed when I moved here. Another thing that I noticed is public transit. So where I'm from and my little town in Mississippi, um, we didn't really have buses. And then when I moved to Jackson, there was like a bus for like Jackson proper, but it was never anything that I could actually use. So moving to Dallas, it was just so freaking cool to actually have a train and a bus. Like I remember thinking that was the coolest thing ever. And I didn't know how to use it because I never used it before. Now, side note on this, the public transportation in Dallas honestly sucks. The buses are always late. Um, the trains are always kind of late as well. Um, from what I've heard since, you know, I don't really have experience living in other cities, um, Dallas's public transit is pretty horrible. Um, so keep that in mind if you're moving here. Some people want to move here without a car. And um, I will say that that is a very bad idea. I do do it, do do, I do do it, but um, if you want to live here without a car, you're going to have to live near the city. Unless you find a really, really, really good deal on an apartment, you're going to be paying more for that. Uh, which is, I guess that's common sense. I mean, everyone knows that. But you're going to be paying more for that. And then public transit does not cover everything. So um, you'll still find yourself, unless you just want to stay within one or two miles of your house, you're going to have to use Uber and Lyft a lot. And honestly, that adds up pretty quick. I mean, one trip out to go get groceries with Uber and Lyft can run you, you know, 10 or $20. So just going to get groceries can cost a lot when you don't have a car. So I would definitely recommend uh, if you're moving here, have a car or know that you're going to be living in an area where you're not going to need a car because the public transit is really shit. But as a perspective of someone coming from a smaller city to Dallas, just the idea of having the public transit was so cool. And I do use it a lot and I really love it. Another thing, and again, this is going to be from a perspective of someone that came from a smaller area to Dallas. Um, people in Dallas just seem to be a little bit more accepting. Uh, I know that Texas is technically a conservative state, um, but since I've moved here, you know, I haven't met anyone who's really been against like LGBT or like I'm sure people like that live here. But if you're looking to live in an accepting area in Dallas with lots of things to do, especially if you're LGBT, um, Dallas is a good area, definitely. Sorry if you guys hear this weird background noise. Uh, my apartment complex is doing something outside. I have no idea what it is, but they've been doing it like for an hour straight. And I really want to keep filming this video. So I'm gonna finish this video out strong, but like, I'm really sorry if you guys hear any background noise. Um, 
So another thing that I've really noticed and like a really good point about Dallas is it's one of the fastest growing cities in the nation. Um, so there is a lot of opportunity here, you know, coming from a small town area, uh, the only kind of jobs that I was able to land back home in my small town were like retail jobs and then there were factory jobs, but I can't do those because I do have a physical disability. So coming here, there was a lot more opportunity, which is a really cool thing. Like if you come here without a job, you're gonna be able to find one pretty fast. And there's all types of different things that you can do. But a bad point of, of Dallas, and one of the reasons why I'm actually moving, um, is, you know, it's one of the fastest growing cities in the nation and everyone's wanting to come here. So with that, rent is really starting to increase in places. Uh, every time that I've had to renew my lease for like the past year and a half that I've lived here, you know, rent has gradually went up more and more and more. And it's starting to get to the point, I could still afford to live here like if I wanted to, but it's getting to the point where it doesn't make sense to anymore. Um, at least for me, like I could still live here if I wanted to, but it just doesn't make sense anymore. And if I were to stay here, and if this like housing boom or whatever continued to happen for like the next couple years, it just wouldn't make sense anymore. And then I really would have to move. Another few things that are like really good about Dallas is there's always something to do. So if you're wanting to live in a city where there's constantly free events and things to do, um, Dallas is perfect for you. You'll always have something to do, always something to go to. As far as food, oh my God, there's so many choices. Uh, moving from a small town, you know, I was just used to like having fast food or like the one or two choices that I had. Um, but when I moved here, I realized there's so many choices on everything. So that's a really good thing as well. And really the last thing that I wanna say in this video is gonna just be something funny that I thought about, but it probably won't even pertain to you unless maybe you're moving from a small area as well. But like when I moved here, the smallest things were so cool. I remember like coming from a small town, like we didn't have a Jack in the Box. So I remember when I first came here, like being so hyped for like Jack in the Box and like Chipotle or like there was this, this gas station by our old apartment before we moved to this one called QT. Um, and if you've heard of it, like it's just like, it has a bunch of different little cool things in it. Like they sell a bunch of different kind of foods and have like a little, um like place where they make food in there and it was just really cool like we didn't have those back home so it just it hyped me up and like it's just weird to think like i was getting excited for fast food but you'll probably do that too if you're coming from a smaller area like the weirdest things that everyone else is like why are you excited about that like you'll be super excited too i remember like the first time i went to like an amc theater i was like oh my god because back home like we had like tiny theaters and then I went to this big one here and I was like OMG that is so cool so yeah it's just little things like that um that make Dallas really cool or like honestly any city that you move to so you'll probably if you're coming from a small area encounter that whenever you move if there's anything that you guys would specifically like to know about living in Dallas feel free to you know comment down below and let me know and I'll probably make a part two to this video but I kind of just wanted to make like a quick little video and kind of help you guys have an idea of what it's like to live here but other than that i'm going to go thank you guys so much for watching my videos and i will talk to you later bye